Samtastic here. I am using a new program for the first time right now. It's called Camtasia Studio. One of my friends passed it to me because he doesn't have a use for it anymore. And, uh, and he figured that I would, and I do. I'm going to be using it to provide you a screen capture of my desktop in order to give you better tutorials on doing software and things. And, uh, and so here it is. Uh, today I will be talking about acquiring the Grandmaster Cartographer title in Guild Wars. And the w method that I used for that is, as far as I'm concerned, the only method, and that is to use TextMod to modify the textures within the game so that you can see what areas you still need to explore. Uh, on the This is the official wiki right here, Guide to Modifying In-Game Graphics. It does have a warning that modifying Guild Wars programs uh, with third-party tools is completely unsupported by ArenaNet and NCSoft, and it warns you that they may infect your computer with this, that, and the other um, if you don't trust them in any case. Uh, I've used TextMod with no problem, and uh, and I don't suspect that that many people would have an issue with, uh, with getting viruses from this particular program unless you track it down from unreliable sources, which is to say, not following this link right here. I, however, cannot be held responsible for you destroying your own computer. Um, as I so much like to state, I just don't want to get in trouble for somebody else using a mod incorrectly. And um, if you're wondering, uh, it is actually not a violation of the terms of service to use a texture modification. That's why they have this whole guide on it on the official wiki. It isn't something that provides you with any sort of in-game benefit. It doesn't change the game mechanics. It just changes the way the textures look. So um, they're okay with it, and you can use it to your heart's, heart's content. So you use this link to download TextMod, and then you can head on over to the Player Made Modifications section, go to UI Enhancements, and then come down to Cartography Made Easy. And I went ahead and got the complete collection. Uh, that gives you Tyria, Cantha, and Alona all in one, so you don't have to have them separately. And, um, and then I moved all of those files into the Guild Wars folder. I also made a link to TextMod here on my taskbar. And, uh, and so when you run that program, you then just choose gw.exe. That's the primary Guild Wars executable. And then you choose your cartography made easy file there. Um, normally it, it doesn't pre-populate that, you'd actually have to choose it. That's why I put everything in one place right there just to make it easy. And then you click on run. And then what? What happens? Guild Wars is going to look very different. There are a couple of goofy little glitches of stuff that happens that just looks odd uh, with the textures in this game when you're running text mod. Um, just sometimes you get unpredictable behavior because uh, it's not the way the game was initially designed. And so I'll go ahead and log in here and I'm going to choose a character here that does not have the Grandmaster Cartographer title so you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. And here we are. I am in Beacon's Perch right now, and as you can see pretty quickly from the map here, it's a little bit different than what you're probably normally used to. These really d nice dark areas here are areas that you are going to be unable to explore, and then the areas that are nice and happy and clean here are the areas you have explored, and this slightly opaque region here, uh, all of this stuff is stuff that you can explore but have not yet. Um, as you can see, this character has not even hit up this little stretch of what Snake Stance or whatever. Nope, I forgot what it's what it is. I haven't even been down there because I got to Dragnar's Forge the normal way by following the story. Anyway, um, so yes, it it affects all regions, all of the continents. If you use the particular text mod that I was using, that's I guess I haven't been to Kining Center in a while. I'm going to go ahead and cut out of that, and I'm going to show you um, what the Grandmaster Cartog from having a little herp dirt moment there. The um, what the Grandmaster Cartographer title leaves you with. Um, the the text mod isn't perfect. Um, it's possible that you could explore some regions that. 
it shows is being unavailable and you also don't have to find all of those regions that are listed in order to um, to get to 100% for each continent and I can show you what I'm talking about with that da, 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 gunners hold this is where I am trying to get my legendary survivor title I still haven't gotten around to doing it yet because um, it's boring as hell and I can show off my legendary cartographer right there because that's what we're doing right now and uh, Eye of the North, as you may notice, has not really been thoroughly explored because you don't have to explore Eye of the North for the cartography title. Um, you do, however, have to scrape much of everything else. Um, but as you can see, there's a little blip there, a little spot there that I haven't gotten. Um, but I obviously have the legendary cartographer title. So I basically have to like run ar along walls and all that kinds of fun stuff. And it's... Uh, Let's see if I've even been to Commandon recently. Nope. Okay, so, since I haven't even gone to other continents in so long, um, we'll see if this loads within any sort of reasonable amount of time. That is, uh, that is, in any case, what the cartography, using TextMod to get cartography would look like, and it makes it a lot easier. Um, you can call it cheating if you want to, but... I've got the title, and if you want the title, honestly, um, it's the only way to do it that doesn't result in you ripping out huge chunks of your hair. So go ahead, do it. It's not cheating, it's not against the terms of service, and it's it's really easy to run TextMod, use the program for it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's more here that I've not explored. Um, yeah, like the last percent is probably the hardest percent to get, for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it felt really rewarding. Oh, this is a really hard area to go through, but it was really rewarding to um, to actually get that title because it's actually four titles in one. You get the cartography title for um, well, you get to see my skill hunter titles there as well. But you get the cartography title for each of the three continents, and then you get the legendary cartographer title as well. Um, and that's that. That's four max titles all in one using the text mod so uh, yep and you can kinda see this is a weird little texture glitch that we see on the ground right there cool huh not normal and that's one of the symptoms of using text mod is you sometimes get some weird looking stuff so there you have it and um, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that helps you getting your uh, legendary cartographer title Samtastic out!